Well, the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board is investing in Asia, quite frankly, because we have to diversify our assets around the world. Today, we have $166 billion in assets, and it's important that those assets get invested uh, around the world, and in particular, uh, with, with Asia and China in particular, now the second largest economy in the world, soon to be uh, the largest economy in the world, uh, we have to go where the investment opportunities are, and those opportunities are increasingly in Asia. Well, you know, we face uh, challenges in Asia uh, like we do when we invest in other countries, and that is that we have to build up uh, capability and expertise. One thing that's interesting about the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board is that um, because we have a long-term view, we're willing to invest uh, not just money, but also in building capabilities for the long term. Uh, and one thing that people may not be aware of, but our first office uh, outside of Canada was in Asia. Our first office, uh, which we opened uh, almost five years ago now, uh, was in Hong Kong. And it was very deliberate that we did that. We did that in order to build up uh, our own uh, expertise and, uh, and capabilities on the ground. And if you went to our office today, you'd find close to 40 people working there, uh, most of whom um, would speak uh, Mandarin uh, or Korean um, and in fact uh, if you were walking down the hallway of that office you'd be surprised that it's the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board. Well I think Asia is critical uh, to Canada's economic future. Uh, as, as we know um, Asia is the fastest growing uh, region in the world. Uh, China itself will in the next 20 years or thereabouts become the largest economy in the world. It's already the second largest economy in the world. Uh, so Canada has to pay uh, attention to Asia, Asia for that reason alone. Uh, and diversifying our interests um, is uh, equally uh, important in that regard.